Hey everybody, Stephanie Johnson here. I'm gonna recap my PWBA Classic Series National events. Um, we had three tournaments last week and um, my week started off on a um, not so glorious note, but that's what happens with travel delays and such. Um, I usually file the day of practice since we practice later on in the afternoon, but we had some crazy storms come through Dallas and uh, I was at the airport for quite a while, but finally made it there, um, maybe with 45 minutes of practice to go. So, um, but this week is a little unique because it is a three tournaments in one a little bit. Um, for the practice session, you bowl on all three patterns. You can obviously choose what pairs you want to bowl on, but they're all labeled um, for the first stop, second stop, and then if you qualify for the third one, um, they're all in different pairs. So. I tried to use my time wisely. Um, my awesome roommate had my balls all out there ready for me to go. So um, both on the first two, kind of get a good feel for how those are kind of going to play. But just like every other practice session, you never know. Lots of people just throwing balls down the lane, not so many spare balls. Um, but I had a pretty good idea of kind of how I wanted to attack the first pattern. But um, anyway, fast forward to that first day. We bowl two six game blocks, just like the normal events. Um, but this one's a little different. They only cut to the top 12 that actually bowl the next day. And the top 32, I believe, is what cashed. Um, it was a rough one. I missed cash by four pins. We've all been in that position before where you can find four pins anywhere, whether that's just a spare you missed, fill balls. Um, four pins can be found in 12 games very easily. So. Um, that kind of stunk, wasn't happy about that, but um, you know, it is what it is. The next tournament, the Bull TV Classic, um, I started off really strong and then I hit a couple of pairs that I was just a little lost on. I think I ended the first block with like a 140 something, so I gave away at least 50 pins there, um, which is obviously super valuable. You need all the pins you can get. So um, I feel like I'm just, I, I just happen to fall into the, my back's always against the wall type of situation where I wasn't in the number, but um, just trying to get into the cash number because 12th place pin wise, I was probably pretty far from that with six games to go. And also your scores from the first tournament plus your scores from the second tournament is what qualifies you for the third one. So even if you don't make the cut um, or cash, you still want to bowl as good as you can because all of your scores um, make a difference. So um, you can tell I'm at home. I'm in between tour stops, so I'll get to that in a minute. But um, so anyway, that last game of my, um, my second block for the Bowl TV Classic, I had to shoot a big game, not only to cash in that event, but then to qualify for the third event. Um, made some bold moves, lanes were on fire. Um, so that last game, I, I rallied like a 245, something like that, switched balls, I moved, um, and I just committed to it. And I needed every bit of that. I think I threw the last eight that game to shoot 240, because um, the front part of the game didn't start out so well. Um, so that was awesome. That was a great feeling. Um, whenever you feel like your back's against the wall and you can kind of overcome that, there's always that adrenaline rush you get that, okay, I, I can do this. You know, I'm not out of it completely. Let's just do what we can and try to make it happen. So then the Music City Classic, which is the final event, um, the top 24 ladies, we all bowl match play. So it's 24 games of match play, wins are 30 extra bonus pins. Um, we did drill two balls for me for that, an Eternity Pie and a DNA Coil, which were amazing. They were pretty much the only two balls I threw, with the exception of the occasional Tension Star here and there. But um, I was able to play the lanes pretty far to the right. Um, it was a 39-foot pattern with only, gosh, if I can remember, maybe it was 21 mils or even maybe even less than that. It was a very low volume. Um, and we were using terrain and ice, I believe, 
pretty sure about that. Um, so whenever you combine those different kinds of oils, it can get a little tricky because one of them is a lot thicker than the other. Um, one wants to kind of be sludgy, the other one's super slick. So they, they combat each other in that regard as well. So you kind of need balls that can restore some energy but slow down because the volume is so low. So um, that's kind of why we went with those, those options, the Eternity Pi and the DNA Coil. And um, they were great. I bowled really well. Um, I think I won, I wanna say 13 of my matches. So the bonus pins are obviously a, a big part of it. But um, I was throwing it great and um, I saw the picture very clearly. So I think it's a, a lot easier to bowl that way when your progressions seem to make the most sense. Um, when you're moving pairs, for the most part, everyone's playing the lane similarly. Um, so I, I made it to the, the TV step ladder. Um, I qualified second, and that's where I actually ended up finishing. Both great against Sherry. Um, I beat her to make it to the final step ladder against Shannon Pluhowski. And um, I had a couple bad breaks, bad shot in the ninth, um, ultimately. And you just never know how the match is going to go, right? It's it's just like they always say. It's never over till it's over. Um, so I finished second. And, you know, I I can sit here and, and sulk of the, you know, coulda, what shoulda, and, you know, bowling can be so unfair and you get some unlucky breaks, but that's just the way it goes always. You know, sometimes we're on the good side of it, sometimes on the not so good side of it. But overall, I'm... Happy with how the week went. You know, the silver lining for me was the fact that, listen, I I barely made it to practice. So um, my week kind of started that way in the sense of just, you kind of get thrown off of your routine and then barely missing cash the first, first event kind of bums you out and um, it gives you extra days off. So then you're just kind of hanging out and doing whatever you gotta do, which was fun. Got to go to downtown Nashville with my roommate, Clara. We had a great time. And um, yeah, so my takeaways from the week for the most part is just, it, it never fails that we just never give up. I was faced with adversity during the whole week. And one of the biggest things that happened to me was during the second block of the Music City Classic, the last event, when we're bowling head-to-head -head match play, my spare ball absolutely exploded. I literally threw a shot at a seven pin and I was bowling Stephanie Zavala and I saw a piece kind of fall, fly back into the gutter. Before my ball even came back, I literally looked at her and I said, I'm pretty sure my spare ball is broken. It comes back and there's a big chunk out of it for those of you that know, I, I use the um, the spare tire Roto Grip um, spare ball, which I love a spare tire. Um, so there's a big chunk taken out of it, and then the thumb actually exploded too. So part of my my um, it was still in there, but the thumb itself was just it was gone. Um, so that took us a little bit of time to figure out what the rulings were um, as far as the bowling ball is concerned, because it's not usable. And um, so that kind of throws you out of your routine as well. You know, you're in the middle of trying to get to the TV show. I had four games to go. I think at that time I was fifth. And um, I just remained calm throughout the whole thing because I figured, well, if I can't bring another ball into play, I need to be able to throw one of my other bowling balls that, you know, is my least hooking, so to speak. So I got on my IQ tour. Um, just to be ready to go. But we were able to, to punch another one up, which is also kind of scary because if anybody, you know, watching has drilled new spare balls, they do um, act differently. You know, you get used to maybe it hooking a little bit um, and obviously we can't change the surface of it. So brand new mix, she was, she was pretty. And I got so lucky the one game that it actually happened in when I shot the seven pin. Um, I struck out that game. I shot 279, so I never even needed to use it. And I didn't even have it, to be honest with you, because they were on the truck um, 
making it happen and doing all the things. So I'm forever grateful um, that I just have so many kind people around me that uplifted me in that moment and um, just reiterated to remain calm because there's just certain things that are out of your control, you know, and that unfortunately was one of them. And because I was so close to making it, you know, that could have definitely altered um, just how things went. So looking back, you know, I'm proud of how I handled that situation because in the moment, you know, it can, again, just take you out of your routine. Um, it's, it's an unexpected thing that happens and you're just really not prepared for it. It's never, ever happened to me. And even if it wasn't match play and it was just, you know, during qualifying, it could have been an entirely different outcome. So, um, you know, maybe you need to travel with an extra spare ball, <laughs> the most important one in your bag. So um, anyway, I um, just to kind of close it all out, I'm not going to the Indiana stop in between that one and the US Open. My daughter has recital, so I'm gonna um, be home for that on Sunday and just gonna be practicing between now and then um, gearing up for the U.S. Open next week. Obviously, that's a huge event. Um, we're going to Indianapolis at Woodland Bowl. We've been there before. It's a great place, great hospitality, and I'm excited to go back. So that's what I got for you guys this past week. Uh, first time in Smyrna. I will give it a two thumbs up. I'm looking forward to if you ever go back there. Um, Chris James and his staff had amazing hospitality. Thank you so much for having us and opening your doors. And uh, until next time, I'm going to be hitting the lanes, uh, getting some practice in, and stay tuned. We'll see you again.